question du temps maintenant, Gisèle, bah, c'est du mauvais temps, en fait, des nuages, de la pluie en perspective. Hi everybody, welcome to downtown Tokyo. I'm here with the, uh, the man wonder himself, Dustin from Solo Travel Vlog and the wonderful Akina. And we've come to try some sukiyaki. So it's 11th floor, I hear amazing things. I think it's gonna change our lives. How do you feel, Dustin? I'm feeling pretty nice <laughs> overall. A tad frisky. Tad frisky, how about you again? Very frisky. Very frisky, you heard her. It's going to be amazing. All right, let's check it out. Let's do this. in the district where very frisky appetites meet amazing food. And in this case, sukiyaki, which I have never tried before. And how to describe this simply, it's like Japanese hot pot. And when you go out, it is, I think, a sort of classy affair usually. We went out for the lunch, so it's a little bit more casual and maybe more my speed for the first time that I was getting into it. And as well, because it was lunch and it wasn't so busy, we were seated in this amazing next to the actual downtown view from the 11th floor. So really, really stoked to go and we did. I don't think it could have gone any better. Beautiful skyline, beautiful bright day, really, really nice atmosphere to have our lunch in. Uh, you cannot start eating unless you have a kanpai in Japan. That is, you know, they kick you out of the country and unless you get that done. So we started with some nama beer, which is basically like tap beer. And then on to the nice light appetizer. That's what you usually do in Japan is they bring you out kind of in French, I guess it would be an amuse-bouche, but something light to get you going. This had the, the deli meats, the okra. I think I saw some peppers in there as well. All really good, all really fresh. This was tofu, a little bit of green onion on top there, and a savory, not too viscous jelly. Went down really, really good, kind of maintaining that theme of lightness. This was cool. You can see here it's going from degrees of how cooked it was. It's beef. It's beef sushi that they have cooked to differing levels. You can see on the one on the end there has been seared the most. And that is the one that I tried. And this took me away to flavor country. I was flying on a flavor cloud. I was in flavor heaven. I dove into a huge flavor bush. However many flavor metaphors I can create here. It was really, really, really good. I didn't try the rare stuff. So now you see the rest of the food start to come out. It's uh, sukiyaki is most often very thinly sliced beef. Although you can have some, there's some variety there. Uh, you have all these vegetables that go along with it. I believe she put on the table the sauce, but I'll explain the sauce later. And then now coming out is the egg. Once you cook your meat or whatever other vegetables, you whoosh the egg up. That's a technical term, whooshing. And you dip whatever you've cooked into the egg. And I didn't get a clip of it, but you can actually test the freshness of the egg by lifting it out by the yolk. And if it hangs there without breaking, you know that you have a very, very fresh egg, which is really, really nice. And the whole presentation of this, isn't it beautiful? I actually reintroduced the sound in here because this this is half of your appetite getting started here. Just listen to that juicy sizzle on the nabemono. I think that's the name for the, uh, the hot pot, is it nabemono? Oh, so, so, so good. But you want to be careful here. You don't want to uh, overdo this because the fat they're using, that's a big hunk of fat, actually burns quite quickly so you don't want to overdo it it's just enough to get the pan prepared and then it's on to the other ingredients and so begins the show the woman heard that it was oh it's your first time and quite graciously offered to come over and do a little bit of a presentation for us not so much that it's difficult but she was so handy with the I can't remember the name for the much longer chopsticks but she was so proficient with everything and it was a kind act plain and simple really really cool to watch her do it she was doing a great job. Now this, the sauce is soya sauce with mirin. And I believe if you look up mirin, I noted, noticed immediately that it was uh, sweet. It was very, very, very sweet. And so it's like a very light alcohol. I don't know, I don't know exactly if it's like a type of vinegar, but I do know that it's sweet and it is alcoholic. And that is mixed with soya sauce that kind of gives it this signature flavor. Oh, and look at it just boiling away there. There's a reason I put that on a slight slow-mo. Drives me crazy. 
no remorse food porn. And then into the egg yolk it goes. The eggs we did test were super fresh, so they weren't letting us uh, letting us down there. And added to the flavor as well, where everything that's in there is quite light, then you get the extra fat from the, the egg. Oh, so delicious, so delicious, it blows your mind. And here I wanted to do a shot as well. You can see the variety of foods that you have in there. So you've got mushrooms, you've got onions, you've got tofu, and you've got the beef. And all of this stuff, when you put it in, kind of the first mistake that I made was you shouldn't leave it in for too long. Most things can be cooked within a minute, under a minute, and then finish it in off light. This is lunch, you're gonna go out and do things afterwards, was this nice little fruit cup. Very, very simple, little bit of uh, jelly in the bottom, a couple of different fruits that we tried, which I don't need to tell you what those are, pretty self-evident, nothing too exotic. Uh, Akina gave, uh, gave the, yeah, it's all right, it's pretty good. It is fruit, it's delicious. And this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed going out to make this video. You absolutely should go and check out Dustin's channel. He makes amazing videos. He's got a great sense of humor. So why don't you like, why don't you subscribe so you can catch the next video. I really appreciate you guys checking out this one. Leave a comment down below. Have you tried sukiyaki? What do you think? And I will catch you in the next video. Ciao for now. Peace.